right hi everyone a uh, very good evening uh, today we are here to have a good chat with our new colleague who was a student so far uh, dr rahul who has secured aml second in the iniss hi rahul hi sir hi so how does it I mean how was the moment uh, uh, prior to your interview and how was it feeling now i think uh, your voice is little bit breaking sir i couldn't hear the last sentence how, how do you feel how did you feel prior to your iniss and um, how is your feeling now after securing your rank and getting the seat uh prior to uh, prior to results sir i was not sure whether i will be able to make it because the question this time was uh, pretty difficult and uh, i had also given neat and i think i was not prepared well for neat i got a decent rank but it was not enough i mean the way uh, the rank i which, which i was expecting from neat was not that much so uh, i was a bit under confident post neat but then uh, i i i i actually post neat i i devoted much time on revising i think before neat i was not able to revise much and that was a so probably the time between that... your need so the time between your need and ini was predominantly revision if i'm right yes sir that was predominantly revision except for few topics in which i was lit under i was a bit under confident i i actually went through that topic in in a bit depth and i think that was also one of the reason that this time since the questions were difficult i was able to solve a majority of question definitely the question was not like uh, all the questions were not uh, solvable sort of right a little bit about you so why did you do your uh, M, uh, mbbs and your md and uh, why oncology yeah so i joined uh, my mbbs uh, at all india institute of medical sciences new delhi uh, in uh, in uh, 2016 i completed my mbbs in january 2022 following which i joined department of pediatrics at aims new delhi itself and i completed my md in pediatrics in january 2025 following which i did uh, a pool uh, a research job at uh, department of medical oncology irch uh, aims new delhi only and uh, uh, i i got interested in uh, oncology right from my md days actually i uh, i was fortunate even uh, i was fortunate to have my thesis in division of pediatric oncology uh, i actually what was uh, that about that was about the efficacy of scalp cooling in prevention of chemotherapy induced alopecia in children with acute lymphoblastic leukemia sir and who was your guy Dr. Aditya Kumar Gupta was my guide. He is a very charming, cool person, very helping, very really, very cooperative, sir. So, so this is one of the reasons for you to put in, uh, for you to come into oncology, right? Yes, that is one of the reason, and I all I always wanted to see myself as a clinician researcher, and I think uh, oncology is the field which you know uh, fulfills those uh, criteria. and it it is an open field where you can explore dive deep and that that is one of the reason i thought uh, this is the field to take so that is kind of uh, very important that he has brought out when people are confused about what to take and which branch are they really interested in and when this confusion sets in when you know that you want to uh, do a lot of research start okay uh, um keep in touch with your um uh, clinical stuff as a whole not restricted to an organ or a system then surely oncology is one of the best options to explore all these stuff right yes right, right. so how, how was your preparation like so i think you completed in jan 2025 and yes, you sir. have now into the rank with the seat you are uh, now uh, sitting in june 2025 so hardly 6 months is 6 months enough for those who are seeing is that really okay if we put in the our efforts and time and um, being a pediatrician how 
tough it was to take a medical oncology now that many of the pediatricians are wanting this i am a pediatrician as well uh, from your own institute and that the drive again was uh, being under dr achana madam seeing patients seeing the changes uh, like what it was to be a death is a sentence is becoming a life altogether after the treatment is really fascinating to see so these are the driving points but when a pediatrician wants to take up an adult oncology and when you have a short time what all the points you want to tell them so that they are at an ease to prepare for their exams so i uh, so initially i was also confused between uh, t- choosing pediatric oncology versus an adult onco- uh, uh, versus adult oncology i i spent time talking to my seniors uh, my guide my faculty and i came to know that at irch aims uh, the dm program actually offers a duality of uh, both pediatric as well as oncology uh, uh, professor bakshi is heading uh, professor bakshi sir is heading the department at, uh, of medical oncology and he is himself a pediatrician and an alumni of uh, department of pediatrics aims itself so i went and talked to him he is a charming person he is sort of role model for me uh, he is he has that like positive aura around him and uh, that was the moment when i came to know that uh, uh, that that both uh, pediatric as well as uh, uh, adult patient i can see in being in department of medical oncology so uh, all of these and uh, and i had already decided to choose oncology uh, those were the reasons i chose uh, adult oncology i mean medical oncology i started uh, preparing in october to, uh, 2024 november was inie uh, aims the first attempt which i gave i prepared for around uh, 15 to 20 days uh, that was the time i get preparatory leave for actually my professional exam and uh, in that time i took subscription of doc tutorial and i watched around 60% of videos and those 60% of videos and making notes of around 40 to 50% uh sailed me through the uh, you know theory uh, exam and uh, i was qualified for interview i gave interview and i secured a rank of 20 last uh, in the last session and that was sort of uh, driving force kind of uh, for a pediatrician like me that uh, it is a doable task subsequently uh, i joined the uh, department of medical oncology and i got exposed to a lot many adult patient i attended classes over there i attended grand rounds uh, and i you know uh, i watched all the videos from the doc tutorial and that was the base sort of base on which i built upon uh i i also did a bit of collateral reading i i uh, i on the doc tutorial group whatsapp group only uh, uh, one of you have shared uh, the book uh, called asco self evaluation program i like that book very much it was sort of second robins for me i mean i one book which i read cover to cover was robins and second book i would uh, say uh, that i read cover to cover was asco scp and uh, that sort of you know generated the depth in the subject and for the medicine part uh, i went through my notes which i prepared for ini ct getting into md and uh, uh, of course the exam uh, for a pediatrician my, uh, like me uh, the medicine part is a bit uh, you know uh, handicap for us uh, i was not able to do better in medicine i would say uh, but the oncology part definitely i smashed sort of because i i kind of did a collateral a bit of collateral reading and the depth uh, uh, i i also followed all the recent updates from twitter i followed onco bros i followed uh, onco alert and uh, you know pages like that which kept kept me updated so uh, i think uh, 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 that is how i prepared had it been a, a, a normal uh, you know normal paper that has been being asked i would not have been able to uh, do better uh, probably the difficult paper sort of you know picked me up and i think that was the reason i so i, I could perform, perform and they prepare perform. the best yes I, i think that was the reason i was not able to do better in neat because i i did a lot of uh, you know i i covered a lot of dimension i i covered a lot of depth but i was not able to revise and that was the lesson taken from uh, after a uh, neat result that i i i consolidated whatever i read uh yeah right so 
i think a 20 day um, preparation was possible to put you into your rank of 20 definitely right? said that attempted for the yes sir yes sir that is yes. that is how so, like that is i gained when... yeah that is when i gained faith in like doc tutorial i i I stopped, uh, you know, uh, being deviated by other uh, sources of reading, other uh, coaching help, and I, I I developed a faith over Doc Tutorial. Definitely, you two people, uh, uh, I would be very gra uh, gratified. Uh, I would be very, uh, you know, uh, uh, I would feel very uh, uh, thankful to you both. That's feels good much. Uh... So, how, uh, did you really uh, get through the uh, Elite test series, QRP videos, and all those? Uh, by that time, my subscription actually ended. The subscription for Doc Tutorial. So uh, I couldn't. I I I I loaned uh, uh, the subscription from one of my friend, and I went through few of those videos. But actually, those are pretty helpful. Uh, uh, you guys updated every uh, topic in those videos. Uh, I was not able to solve MCQs per se, but uh, uh, I, I definitely feel like had I had I done MCQs, uh, that would be a good tool to revise. And um, uh, having said that, you have done your videos, your uh, QRPs, and uh, some MCQs as well. And uh, how do you feel? Uh, uh, which book to follow? This is a very common question from people what should i do which book to follow is it okay to do only the videos i understood that you had some collaterals to prepare so where do the people concentrate apart from these videos and doc tutorials as a backup what else should they read should they read the devita as a whole because the book itself gives the fear and the and puts drops down your confidence i know that is definitely not a book for entrance exam it is a book for your exit exam Right. So people confuse right. between uh, oncology book to be read as a full foreign entrance, which is surely not the case. But um, as you told, being updated actually not only gives you information, but also keeps you in a uh, there's a drive behind that, which helps you in reading different stuff. And you get, get to know all other facts about each and every disease. That is a kind of a stimulus for you to kind of keep reading all your updates as well. Definitely, sir. Sir, I would uh, I would like to say that Davita is definitely not a book for entrance exam. Uh, uh, it is sort of bible for oncology. Uh, a few few introductory chapters is actually important. The one on epidemiology, the one on different the uh, the previous edition of uh, uh, of Davita, the one on uh, the molecular methods and uh, genetics uh, part of that. Other than that, uh, for the pharmacology uh, of chemotherapy, uh, I preferred Edward Chu. That book is definitely very assist. Uh, I mean, that is a book which where you can like you can read and you can follow and you can you can uh, 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 remember those uh, the chemotherapeutic drugs. And for the book, if you want to do, uh, re, uh, if you want to, you know, develop a sort of uh, uh, overall holistic picture, then ASCO Self Evaluation Program is the book to go through. Uh, uh as i said previously also that book is really 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 good that is a uh, uh, sort of second uh, robins to me i really like that book i i i covered that book uh, th uh, from cover to cover i highlighted facts and i took help of chat gpt as well to you know make notes of those highlighted facts so that i can revise later on so i i would like to thank chat gpt as well because uh, so, uh, that's how see, I consolidated. Uh, I, I understand you had some five, six questions about AI in um, uh, your need, but uh, uh, being an into the era, probably we are already in the mid of era of AI, utilizing that to prepare, prepare and to kind of take information and to kind of correct information is actually good. Not just uh, going back to only books, trying to utilize all your technological advancements to uh, ease in your uh, preparation is very good. Right, definitely, sir, definitely. And uh, I think uh, uh, that is it from our end. Very happy to see one of my juniors, my colleague now, uh, post pediatrics. So that gives us uh, one point uh, straight from this guy. 
and also the rank one uh, holder. Both of them are pediatricians. So people who are preparing pediatrics, yes, it is possible. And uh, these are, these patients, I mean, people are the examples of not to fear just because you are seeing an adult patient. To be very true, to see a patient who is above 18 years was a fear for me when I was in pediatrics. Then uh, only after joining oncology, then it, it it is just an extension of pediatrics. And being a pediatrician, you would have been so much well versed in drug dose calculations, which is going to be even more helpful for you when you are in a oncology. So pediatrics is going to be a, a bigger boon for you to do medonc, not only uh, uh, as a as a from the clinical point of view, but also from all your uh, drug calculations as well, because you will be minute enough to calculate everything. I know uh, we change doses by one ml per hour when you are in uh, NICU postings. So yes. happy to have a pediatrician on the board, uh, which has been there for, since ages together. Uh, thank you, Rahul. Thank you for your feedback, and uh, we'll keep uh, in touch and keep connected as years goes on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tutorial team.